Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple wash basin model. This is only model, not the real V, real model. So I wish you like it. This is for beginners. Let's see how to do in SolidWorks. Let's start to make a wash basin in SolidWorks. Start with front plane sketch. Draw a vertical. horizontal and vertical center line let's expand okay choose a line and start from here and up to here and little inside exit now let's start to define 2.75 mm twenty one point zero five mm five point five mm and keep two mm Now let's define this gap. Eighty-six point four mm. Okay. Take it down. Choose here spline, and start from here to connect this point. Exit. Select. select according to our requirement again choose this spline this time connect from here and connect up to this point exit now let's connect both the points exit let's define Twelve point two one five mm, and the distance from bottom circle to sixty-three point seventy-five mm, seventy-four mm. Okay, now this one little defined. Okay, this geometry is looks better. It's up to you how you will define. Keep radius two mm. Select both the corners. cancel it just drag this delete this point and make this point 3 mm okay now select radius 2 mm and select both the corners okay okay now let's little define our geometry Okay. Choose fillet. One mm and select this end. Okay. Select one mm. Okay. Now this is the our geometry. Now it's time to revolve. go to feature and select revolve boss base now select this point as a axis okay now select this body and uh, go to appearance and go to stone 
and here you will paving stoneware plus porcelain this is the porcelain now and let's define the color just uh, i'll put the coordinate here color codes cancel again select the full body then define Thirty-seven, one thirty-four, eighteen. Okay. Now this is the our ceramic color. That's it. Choose right plane, and here we want to create a plane. Plane. Twenty mm from right plane. You can see here. Okay. Now select this plane. A sketch normal now here we want to create one geometry okay select here a spline connect with this point choose mirror select this mirror and connect both the points okay now let's define the dimension one twenty three point six zero three and the distance from Thirty-nine point zero nine mm. Okay. Now select extruded boss and select here up to next, or select up to surface. Select. Or. Better to extrude. Do not keep out, but make sure it. This place should be filled. Okay. Now see here, it's coming out. So. Make twenty. Okay. Now hide this plane. If you will choose nineteen point five, it's so better choose twenty. Now it's time to arrange fillet. So choose fillet. Select here variable size and select this outer surface. Now under assign select here one mm. Select this under assign one mm and select. See you can see here many points. So select this midpoint and this is defined twenty mm. Now see one one and twenty mm. Okay. Now select this fillet. Again choose fillet. Constant size one mm. Okay. Fillet. This time choose ten mm and select this inside edge. Okay. Now we want to make a hole in center, so choose this face, sketch, normal, select circle. Now define the diameter. 
25.49 mm and the distance make sure 86.4 mm okay now select extruded cut select through all okay now see we created a hole here we assign the whole material porcelain and whole body we will assign one time okay now here inside we want to create some select fillet keep 5 mm and select this upper edge okay again choose fillet 1 mm and select this bottom surface okay now we want to create one surface here so just go to surface and select here offset surface 0.5 mm select this face only okay now select this face thickness 0.5 mm and select this lower okay now see here the thickness 5.5 mm and define this steel color steel this is the steel metal okay now we want to fill this surface so here we will choose one more command filled surface select this edge okay now it is filled see select this face mat uh, thickness 0.5 okay now select this thickness and surface and assign the material polished steel this is polished steel here we will make the holes for showering or for outlet of water now select fillet 0.5 mm select this edge okay okay now select this center sketch normal and here make one hole Three point five five mm. Okay, this is drain hole. Exit. Extrude cut. Select through all. Okay. Now here we will make some pipe. select this A sketch select convert entity now the circle is converted choose here offset entity 0.5 mm and select select this circle reverse okay now select extruded boss see 45 mm make angle 4 degree
or uh, better choose here thin feature no i think some mi something miss so do one thing edit select here contour and select this line only N don't select inside lines okay see Now here we will make some uh, drain holes. So select this body, make polish this steel. Select this face, sketch, normal. select offset reverse 0.5 okay select extruded cut keep inside 4 degree outward okay now see polish the steel that's it now this is become a pipe select this face sketch normal now here we will make multiple number of holes draw circles for construction again draw one more circle for construction now let's define 19.5 mm Twelve point three mm. Okay. Select here circle. Draw two circles. Let's define one point eight mm. I think we can make bigger two mm. Two mm. Okay choose circular pattern select this center point and select the circle clear this point choose this center point make 12 number of circles ok again choose circular pattern clear the point select this point clear select this circle eight numbers okay now select extruded cut and select only up to next okay now see the hole is created let's try to see this is the drainage hole water drainage hole point two fillet select this surface okay that's it select this face sketch normal and here we will we want to make a hole draw one construction line circle let's define the distance six point two five mm 
4.21 mm okay now select extruded cut make the depth inside up to 17 mm okay Now let's add the fillet here. Keep 1 mm and select this edge. Okay. Now we forget to do one modification. This is something hap wrong happened. So this is the part 2 edit. Here select up to body. Select this body reverse. Okay. Now that's perfect. Select this face, sketch, normal. Now here we will make the our shower. Eighteen mm. Okay. Select extruded boss. 17 mm now here we will make the fittings pipe fittings and all the things unmerge result okay now this body i'll assign the material chrome plate again select this face sketch draw one more circle and quite bigger keep 19 mm see extrude only 1 mm okay define chamfer 0.5 mm and 45 degree okay select last both the parts chrome plate that's it now we will assign one plane choose front plane plane 12 mm okay now select this plane sketch normal now here we will make the another fitting draw a circle from this midpoint Nineteen point zero five five mm. Okay, now extrude it. Thirty three mm opposite direction. Okay, that's it. Here check two bodies. This is the one and chrome finish. Select this face or better hide this surface. Select this face, sketch, normal. Now here select ellipse. This is the center point. Now let's define. Eight point six nine mm. Seventeen 
16.675 mm okay now simply exit now select front front plane a sketch normal choose line now it's time to define the path horizontal sixty three point three one nine and thirty four mm okay choose fillet keep radius twelve mm and select this edge okay now simply exit now it's time to define the fittings swift to boss base the path is selected just select the profile see here okay it's also must be chrome finish fillet keep 1 mm select this face okay now select this face sketch and draw here a circle find out the midpoint okay keep the diameter 20 mm okay and extrude it up to 9 mm only see okay now choose fillet select this face 1 mm point 3 mm and select this inside edge okay now select last three operations four operations chrome finish that's it this is just a model not the real one now let's make the one plane select this face plane keep 22 mm okay now select this plane a sketch normal now here we will make the one draw one end to this end we will make the fittings hook or fittings rod 3.6 mm okay now extrude it up to 19 mm okay fillet 0.2 select this face and this face okay now hide this plane now select this face and create one more plane and this time keep the height 68 mm we can little reduce 64 mm this is the center of this almost 63 mm okay now select this plane sketch normal now here we will make the one circle 9.4 mm 5 mm 
5.5 mm okay now select extruded boss reverse direction keep 5 mm okay now again select this sir sketch select offset see offset 0.5 outer side okay extrude only 1 mm but keep the angle Twenty seven degree. Okay. Fillet. Point five mm and select inside edge. Okay. Now this is the fitting. Water shower fitting. now you can hide this plane now this is your model shower model that's only model not the real view real one but it looks nice now we want to create one more thing we will create one glass layer in bottom side so select this face plane now select 30 mm flip direction okay now select this plane sketch normal select circle and find out here midpoint okay and draw a circle and keep the diameter one 65.462 mm okay choose here center rectangle find out the no rectangle it's uh, quite different choose corner rectangle exit define center line select this line and make relation horizontal define this length 110.5 mm to 172 mm length and width define 246 mm okay choose fillet keep 50 mm select both the end okay now define 10 mm select both end point okay choose the line spline center point exit fifty twenty two okay now select this all lines construction this line also construction line now mirror mirror this is spline against this line okay line 
and connect both the end exit choose trim entity trim the midline okay now select extruded boss see here it's going to extrude up to 3 mm okay inside radius i think we need to there is a gap so we need to decrease the diameter edit select 163 also again there is a gap exit 156 quite better but even you can make more better just make maybe something happened wrong Okay that's final hide the plane now we will define this material first uh, let define the fillet One mm fillet we selected. Okay. Now select both the panels and go to glass. Choose here green glass. See. Now it looks a uh, nice, very nice. now you can save this panel save in any place wash basin now it looks very nice even if you can render it just go to office tool photo view 360 render and select here final render and let's see uh, what will be the result because this body we selected for ceramic and this bottom we fix one clear glass green color so see the render is going on rendering always a heavy task it always takes more time because it's depend on your computer speed and computer core and your graphics if you have better graphics and better number of cores in your uh, processor it will go faster i am going to skip some process here now you can see here it almost uh, 50% done i skip some waiting time so that you will not wait more now it's go going to finish it's near see this uh, we gave it uh, metal color chrome metal and this is ceramic and bottom is glass green glass transparent glass so now see the render view also uh, it looks very nice 
सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस ट्यूटोरियल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियो एंड मोर प्रोजेक्ट इन सॉलिड वर्क्स डोंट फर्गेट टू शेयर एंड लाइक अवर वीडियोज आई होप यू लाइक इट थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग